invite our dog behavioral therapist and trainer, Gerard Ranieri, to highlight a different breed and talk about why they would or would not make a good member of your family. Gerard joins us now with Khan, a very sturdy and powerful Rottweiler puppy, but he is a puppy. He is a puppy, and he is a lot of work. This guy, um, you know, his name is Khan. Like I said, he's a Rottweiler, and right now he's six months old. And when I did this, doing this, the, the paperwork for this appearance, he was 46 uh, pounds, and now he's 55. And that was less than two weeks ago. He's a so beautiful. So he's put on some weight here. Beautiful he, dog. He is. He's a great dog. He, he, he takes a lot of work. Yeah. Now, if you tell me that if you decide that a Rottweiler is good for your family, you better be in a position to be the leader. That's right. You have to be, for a dog like this, you have to do a lot of things. The owners that own this dog, Amanda, she is great. She not only does regular training one-on-one -on -one with me, but she, it's okay, boy. She also does, um, takes him for socialization classes and does a lot of work with him. You know, uh, other dogs, people, just all kinds of other, anything that she can get this dog around. Because if this dog thinks he's in charge, we're going to have a lot of problems. And you're going to have a lot of problems in your house. You don't want this guy making decisions for you. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I mean, and you, and know, you know what? Don't they have a reputation of being a really a tough dog? They do. And I like to call, you know, I, when people talk about that, they are a tough dog. But think about all the tough guys you know. They have a heart of gold. Mm -hmm. And that's how these dogs are as well. Mm -hmm. They have a great, but again, the leadership and socialization, I can't stress it enough. I mean, it's really important. What kind of a family would he work well in? an active family he's a working dog so he needs something to do i mean even coming to the studio was a challenge for him because he had nothing to do for a long time so we really had to keep him busy and work with him and do things that kept him focused on us mm -hmm. so a, a, dog, a family that's active and is strong and healthy you have to ask they have to ask themselves a the question are they committed and are they, are, can they go the distance and they have the patience because you can't start with this dog and then walk away mm -hmm. because you're gonna have a half dog trained which half trained dog which is not a good thing how big is he gonna get Khan right now is uh, 55 pounds. He's only halfway. Okay. He's only halfway to his full weight. Okay. So he's going to be about 110 pounds. And in general, Roddy's can be anywhere from 95 to 130. And he's just a slab of muscle. He is. He's all and, solid. And, and w uh, my producer is telling me that the audience would love to see his face. Come here, Khan. But because he does have, he is a Come handsome here. boy. There's no two ways about it. Come over here. Come on over, so you can see your beautiful face. Watch that. Look at that. Oh, he's so pretty. Uh, your that? tip, your tip for this week. Well, it's Thanksgiving is right here. So a lot of things that happen, dogs smell that turkey on top of the table, grab it and try to steal that turkey. Well, what happens is the bones could really hurt dogs mm -hmm. and obviously cook bones especially. Also grapes, there's a dog on, on, on the pug rescue right now that people are feeding grapes to for years, frozen grapes, and now the dog has permanent kidney damage. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of this nuts, certain nuts, certain grapes, just this time of the month, just stick to your dog food, guys. Don't do anything that is, is different. Thanks for bringing Khan. I Thank love you. him. Thank you. He's a great dog. He's a he great. got a lot of treats more than ever before. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. Uh, elephants are the wildlife icon of Africa. but in